Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Um, I just wanted to show you the progress with this now. I've got to put a credit up. I don't know how to say the name because I've forgotten it. Uh, but I'll stick it up on the screen now. I'm going to give a credit to this chap. And thank you very much for supplying your video. I did say that if this was done, we'd probably get a lot further with this. And uh, I'm glad to say that uh, we've got this far. So here we are. This is the board in um, in question, and this is with a 90 degree. We got our AC input. I can't speak for any of the voltages going in. I'm using 24 volts in AC, and we got our output here going to this little uh, this little multimeter. So these are the what look like. Let me just zoom in on them because they don't look too fakey fakey. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but these are supposed to be TI uh, chips. And the one that we're going to be looking at in question is this one here. Just north of the variable pop uh, trimmer. And what we're going to do is I've ordered some genuine. Let me just bring that out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I've ordered some genuine parts. These came in from RS yesterday, and we're going to take one of these, pop it in there, and see if we get the voltage that we require. Now, I'm just going to put, turn this on here, and you can see here, it says 25 volts. I can't go any higher. I can go down with it. Yeah, and that will zero out, which is quite nice. And again, if I turn it up, there you go. Just will not go up any higher. 25 volts. It was never about whether the board worked, it was whether it did as it said, like it says quite nicely. Up on here, it says zero. Yep. Zero to 30 volts, and that's what we want. We want zero to 30 volts. I don't know if it's going to be zero to 30 volts, we want zero to 30 volts. So, Let's get one of these babies out. I bought a few of them because I've got a few of these boards and I'm not going to do them all today on this. This is the one that I've got ready there with the ability just to change these out if I need to. Whether you might want to change all three of them out, that's going to be your choice. Um, first of all, we're going to see if we can get this to do. Now, I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but on the video, that uh, I'll put his name up again shared um, I couldn't tell whether he got two boards in on his DIY supply and uh, so he got um, positive and negative outputs which is very good that's what's the good thing about these is you can make one of those supplies quite easily I don't know whether the second board works as it should oh there we are. let's just throw that out over there um, I don't know if it worked as it should. I'm going to stick out. That's the difference on those. You can see that so well. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's actually a new version of this. Uh, TL081. This is a CP. There's actually a H now. Um, and I don't know if... Uh, that would be better, but it's apparently it's got some more parts on it, and it's just the a, a, uh, instructions in it or something. And it's just an easy swap out. I don't know. I'm just rambling on while I'm putting this in. Hopefully, without bending up the leads too much. Can't seem to get my hands to do what I want. It's because I'm not in close enough. Unfortunately, moving with my eyes. I got a rare. We're getting pretty close to these things, so let's get that in there. Right, we're in. He is in like Flynn. Let's put one of these back underneath here to help just hold that up. I'm just going to turn that down. Uh, we got that. Brilliant. Yeah, uh, put that on. Okay, this is a millivolt. It's a 60 millivolts there. We might need to do a bit of a trim out. On this, but let's see what we get on our voltage output. If 
Five rolls, ten rolls, seventeen, nineteen, oh, twenty-seven, thirty-one point six. There we go, and I've got a funny feeling that point six will be trimmed out. Um when I find my little trimmer. And uh yeah. But there you go. I want to see if we can find a little trimmer or the screwdriver end in there and just see if we can do something with that on this part here. Can we trim it out? Oh. Finding it hard just to get that on there. Yep, we can trim that down. And get it to um, as close as we can to zero. Whatever it's worth putting in. Oh, that gives the minus one. Well, right, let's just take a peek at the output again. Thirty-one point five. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, or whatever the sayings are. So you guys out there that have this particular board, um, it seems like that this one chip here, if it's upgraded, in some ways I'd say possibly do the three. I mean, you can buy these. These are forty pence each. Forty pence, uh, which is what forty p is. Uh, 40, 55 cents, 50, I don't know what you have in euros, that's a dollar, so that's going to be a cent as well, isn't it, on pennies, I, I, I don't know, but they're, they're cheap enough, they're cheap enough to do that little swap out, and if you had to do the whole lot, that's, um, you know, pound twenty, whatever, if you had to do the whole lot to get that right, but that's brilliant. Now we can say that that is now given as it's supposed to, and... It's crazy because it almost seemed like it should have done somewhere along the line. It should have done just because no matter how much you look, apart from the change around of the voltage regulator and the, the two pins out, there is no change on this board from the other ones that worked. And the connections are all as they should be on there. It's all a proper little head scratcher, of course, until you get down to the the Chineseium. Uh, from what I understand, it's something to do with a null offset on pin five and uh and there you go but that's that all right it works it's i you know i i, I call them fake against the highland ones because they're not stamped up as being highland and uh but it was mainly non-working boards non-working as they should be and now we can get 31 volts out of it to me that now is a big thumbs up big thumbs up to the chap who shared his video and um yeah go get them get all your boards working have a great day catch you in the next one guys bye for now